Good morning, slash afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And I bring to you this look. And why am I so close? That's better. So today's look I bring to you is this summery one. I'm getting summer vibes. I mean, you could rock this in autumn. You know what would be so nice is like if you had like more of like a burgundy shade on the lid. That would look so nice with this look. But yeah, this is like a summery tutorial. I would say because like I feel like everyone in the sum southern hemisphere we're all going into spring summertime now I thought I'd go with those vibes I mean I did do a autumn look in my previous tutorial if you would like to check that out I'll leave it up above right here just for you so this is my take on like a summer makeup look it's very glam but still kind of soft at the same time the lashes aren't too intense they're just very wispy and like fluffy I did like a cute little like soft gloss red lip and go like too intense like a liquid so i hope you guys enjoy it and without further ado let's get straight into the tutorial bye okay guys so i've already done my base already as you can see i thought i'd whiz through that i've done many 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 tutorials on my foundation base and everything that you can check out i'll link them down below in this description bar and i'll link my like favorite one up here somewhere otherwise let's move on to the eyes so I've already like um, primed them with just concealer and stuff. You can go in with like a paint pot or something like that. I haven't set them or anything yet. I thought I'd just go straight in with uh, the eyeshadows. It is good to put some powder on there if you have like put like a thick eye base on. Like say, I don't know, like a like paint pot or something like that. Just because it is quite creamy and it can help. Like the eyeshadows can tend to stick and not look as blended. But I just use like a thin concealer so it'll be fine. So on a fluffy crease brush, I'm going to dip in and take Made For Each Other and Silk Cream from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And just dive that through the crease. Just softly. This is a real smoky eye. So I'm just keeping it pretty soft. This will be like a little transition for the deeper shades that we apply on next. Just have something to like blend into your natural skin tone a bit better. It's like the best day to film today. It's really, really cloudy outside, so the lighting is like perfect. I'm so happy. The other day it was a bit patchy, so like the lighting just kept going like dark light, dark light, dark light. And I was like, that's not helping. So once you've just got a real soft wash of that shade or those two shades, I'm going to dip into like something slightly, slightly darker. So I'm thinking I want to do like a greeny blue smoky eye with like the shades from like the Jaclyn Hill palette and a couple shades I have from Makeup Geek we'll see how we go it's really like touch and go from here guys like I have no idea what I'm doing like usual I mean there's no surprise there next I'm going to take Creamsicle from the same palette and just brush that through my crease again using the same fluffy crease brush it's the 221 soft crease from Zoeva And make sure to bring it all the way toward your inner corner. So I'm kind of rounding out the eye. I think I want more of like a round eye shape today. Rather than a like kind of elongated smoky eye. Now I have a cute little like wash of like a kind of goldy orange shade. I'm going to take like a more greener shade now. Like a bluey green shade. So I'm next going to dip into Jada or like Jada from the palette and place that through my crease with a Morphe tapered blender brush and I'm keeping that like pretty low on the, like the crease area I'm also kind of focused it on the lid a bit because I don't want to bring the blend up too high so I'm just resting the brush on my lid and just letting the tip of it fall into my natural crease and just work that product in there make sure to work it in your inner corner as well like the inner lid area just here so it keeps the eye pretty round just make sure you keep it pretty low in the crease area otherwise if you bring it up too high it can turn into a little bit of like a hot mess and we don't really want that there we go next we're going to dip into pool party which is like a gorgeous like Kind of turquoisey blue with like gold little flecks in it. Such a gorgeous shade. I'm just going to first of all apply that on with my finger. Just straight on there. 
my oh my that is actually stunning that's such a pretty shade oh on top of the excess there oh it's so pretty and you can really see like the little gold specks in it too oh it's so pretty is my music a bit loud And I'm just kind of focusing it quite close to the lash line and just letting it fade up into that um, Jada shade. I was trying to remember what it was called. So it just kind of fades up into it. Oh, that's so pretty. And I'm just taking a little bit of Jada. Just a little bit. And then taking a bit of Creamsicle. And just lightly softening the edges and bringing that colour in there a bit more. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. It's gorgeous. And I'm just kind of softening creamsicle with a bit of that um, made for each other and silk cream shade that we use at the very beginning. Those two transition shades. Ever so slightly, just a little bit. No, I am really loving like the blue so, who so much. But I think I might even just to kind of bring more of that gold through. I'm going to take the gold shade from the palette, which is called Queen. Ooh, that's so sassy. I'm going to take Queen and just pop that on the very, like, centre of the lid. Just for a bit of a pa, a bit of a pop. I'm just using, like, a little bit of it. I don't want too much. I'm just kind of softening it out. Just using my pinky finger, just so I use, like, very light pressure. like next level amazing I'm sorry I like to flatter myself when I do my makeup <laughs> just bringing some of pool party back a little bit and it's not too intense though. like pool party is so pretty but I think it's just a little bit I don't know I just think it's with the gold it's just so much nice like I don't know how to describe it it's just so nice like do you guys just see that shade like it is so nice. And for my brow bone highlight, I think I'm going to take Beam on my like precision brush. My precision precision. My precision shader brush from Zoeva. And just placing that right under the brow bone. On the very high point. To bring a bit of attention to that area. And I feel like this shade has a little bit of like, I don't know. Like a golden yellowish undertone, so it fits quite well in with the crease colour and like the gold in the lid and stuff. And then just soften the edges out with some of the transition and creamsicle colours. Like, do you guys just see that? It's so pretty. And like, do you see the difference it has like with a brow bone highlight? I just think it ties the look in so much more smoother and just helps everything blend softly in together. And so pretty. Oh my god. For my inner corners, I'm thinking of mixing like a couple of shades together just because I want it to be a bit more golden on the inner corner rather than being quite more lighter and whiter on the brow bone. So I'm going to mix both and light and queen together. Oh wait, no, it's a beam. And just chuck it right on like that. Ooh, oh that is nice. That was very nice. Very nice. I do want a bit more though of beam than queen. Just in the midst of contemplating whether I want to do a wing or not. Like, that is where I'm at right now. Do I want to? I mean, it's so nice on its own. I don't think I will. I'll just, I'm just going to pick lashes first and then I'll continue because I just don't know what I want to do. Like, I feel like the lashes would tell me if I should do wing liner or not, so I'll just be back in a second. Um, back. So the lashes I decided to go in today with are the um, House of Lashes Temptress Wispy ones. I just find them they're really uh, perfect suited for this eye look. They don't cover up too much of the eyeshadow and they're also longer in the centre of the lash. So that means that they're going to help complement that like rounded eye shape. So to continue with the eyes, I'm going to tight line and waterline my eyes. So I'm going to first of all go in with my Obsidian 
I I call from Makeup Geek. I'm just going to place this in my tight line. It's a nice black eye curl, so it's going to help conceal the skin colour um, between the lashes. So it helps my false lashes mesh better with my natural lashes. And then I'm taking my espresso eye curl and I'm placing that on my waterline. Just because it's a nice brown eye curl, so it's not going to be as intense as the black. And I'm just running that under the waterline as well. So with this look, I'm thinking I kind of want like a burnt orange under eye area. I think it would tie so well with the blue and like the creamsicle shade. So I'm going to first of all take uh, Hunts from the Jaclyn Hill palette and run that along the eye curl that we placed under the lash line. Next I'm going to take a bit of um, Hunts but also mainly dip into the shade Butter and run that underneath my lash line with a pencil brush. And then taking some of them made for each other on a just a fluffy blender brush. I'm just kind of blending out the edges of the eyeshadow on the bottom lash line. Now just to add some bottom lash mascara and the eyes are done. For the lips I think I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I really like this shade tying in with the blue. It's like orangey lip gloss so... So first of all I'm just going to take my classic eye curl which I now use as like a lip liner all the time. I just love it so much it's so creamy. So I'm just using this espresso eye curl and lining my lips. And then I just went over top with some of my Urban Decay uh, Revolution lip gloss in the shade Punch Drunk. I actually really like this lip combo. So this is the finished makeup look guys. If you did like it make sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know you do like these kinds of tutorials. Make sure you let me know what you want to see next. Tell me if you like the lip combo best or the eye combo best because I'm loving both. They are, it is like a lot on the face but like let's be real I haven't had a lot on the face in a while guys. In a while. It's nice. It's nice to like have that really like vibrant kind of like orangey red lip with like the blue gold kind of shade like I'm just digging that pool party shade like mm. Mm. but yeah I hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure to subscribe before you leave and yeah leave some love in the comments down below otherwise I'll see you all in my next tutorial have an amazing day I love you all so much and I'll see you soon bye